Hey everybody, my name is Rion Nixiel, and today we're playing Parkitect. It's a Alpha Steam game, early access. It was released on May 5th, a couple months ago, and has very positive reviews. I will post the link in the description below. You can play it for yourself. And as he's an Alpha, we're going to start a new game. There is no other game mode, no story mode or anything, so. We're going to start a new game. I don't know what the end result is going to be. We're going to try to build a successful park. And hopefully no one will die. I know in other park simulator games, if you build the roller coaster wrong, the whole roller coaster will crash. So we'll try not to do that. This game was actually uh, referred to me by a friend. Um, I'll put her uh, YouTube and social media link in the description below as well. And uh, well, let's get started. Ooh, Texel Raptor loading screen. There's a couple people walking. All right, let's see our park. I have never played this game before. I have no idea what to, what it looks like, what's going to happen. Um, I have a very, very large plot here. It's five degrees Celsius, which is I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, the name of our park. There's a couple people walking. Oh, it's a billboard. Happy Co. Happy Cola. Happy company. Alright, we're going to pause the game first, just so we can get an idea of what we want to build. I think it's paused. I think so. Alright, let's see. We want to... This is the main entrance way. We're going to rotate it. Okay, Q works to rotate. Q and E. Alright. Entrance way, three entrance way. You get your ticket there, I'm assuming. You come down this way. And I think we'll have a main street here. Yeah, we'll first design a main street. Has you can select different hold shift. You can select different materials. Do we want a cobblestone walkway? What does that look like? Hmm. I like that actually. Do we have an asphalt? Yeah, this one's like a pavement or something. And this is what clay it's red. I like the uh like it's not pushing anywhere. I like the cobblestone. We'll do cobblestone. Oh, I got to take it up first? Yeah, I got to take the old one out. Can't put it on top of it or something. Get rid of that. We'll come in this way. And we'll continue with this motif of having it three wide. Just for a little while. Come down here, and then it'll split off right around here. So, And we want the center portion to be... We're going to clear out the center portion here. We want fountains and trees and all that stuff. But having a path so they can get across. Three wide each. Three, three, three. We'll have three, three, three. Last three here. And then this is where it'll diverge into multiple ways. One coming this way, the other coming this way, other going straight forward, and they get different areas of the park this way. All right. So first, let's go this way. Is there any way to curve... So I can make it not so square. What is this? And that's just how you rotate it in a circle. I was hoping for like more of a curvature or something. What's that do? Oh, incline. Don't want that. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. Okay. All right, that'll work for now. Let's build a ride. <clears throat> we want to build. A staff room. No staff room. We want not yet. Anyway, we don't need staff yet. What should we build? We will. We'll build a roller coaster further in. So we'll build the first section here. We'll build just a couple small things. A uh, swinging ship. I like swinging ships. We'll build right here, right there. Entrance way. I like how it automatically selects the entrance way and exit way for you. Entrance way there. We'll have the exit over here. It's closed. We still need to add queue lines. This game seems to be similar to, well, all park simulators are similar, but um, Roller Coaster Tycoon. I used to play that, and, and I really love that game, that whole series. So this seems similar to it. It's still an early alpha. I'm just looking forward to seeing what else they add to it. Because it leaves pretty limited right now. A couple stores... One thing, one utility, one utility building, staff room. Maybe unlock more later. There's only so many rides. Go down. Okay. I know you don't really need to. How many decorations do we have here? 
Oh, my. Wait, well, just decent. Um, bones. You can make, like, a, uh, dinosaur-type area, or architectural area. Anyway, let's see. We want to add a pathway. Queue line. I don't know what the difference between those two is. Oh? What's this one do? Uh, one's rounded and one's more square lines, tile-wise. Okay, I like... We'll do this one. Just because. Come up this way, come down that way, come this way, and there. It's a small, simple entrance way. And here we want the same color... Should we make this one? We'll make this one dark coming out until it meets the main road. There. Beautiful. Okay, now we have our first swing ship. It is apparently $1.50 to ride. So every ride costs money in this? How much is it to get in? It's $1 to get in, then each ride costs money. I've never been to a amusement park like that. Where it costs money to get in, then money to ride each ride. So what if we were to set this like $20, $25, $30 and put every other ride free? Like most amusement parks, at least the ones I've been to. Let's build the park and we'll work on that. Okay, we want this, we want another ride over there. So we will continue this pathway slightly. Well, maybe we'll make it too wide. I like the wider pathways. A lot of walking room, especially when it's busy. If it becomes busy, this might be an epic total failure of a park. Maybe I'll do everything wrong. Okay, let's see. No, still don't want a staff room. I want those hidden behind trees or something anyway. Shall we build a G-lock? We'll build a G-lock right there. So the swing, sip swinging, it'll swing up. People will be terrified of how close they're getting to this one over here. The g is going to spin. Hopefully it won't crash into the ship at the same time. So I'm going to look that's what will happen. We'll put that over there. Put this right here. Then we just got to build a decently long entranceway. Or queue line. Just come right there. Here, here. Back this way slightly. Then right there. Could build right there. There we go. Okay, and then the exit is going to be the same dark gray one. The cobblestone is the main streets. Then we'll have the side streets, and then you need different colors. That way people can hopefully know where they're going. All right, we're going to rotate, put one more ride over here, and then we'll start the other, doing the main street stalls. We'll have stores and uh, souvenir shops, and places to eat, and stuff like that there. So let's build one more ride. What do we want to build? Haunted house? So far, this has all been swinging and moving things. Swinging ship. That's star shape. Let's do a tor... Torbillion? 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 I don't know what that does. So you rotate... How do I rotate? Um... Is that the front? That seems to be the front. We'll put that right there. I don't know how that works. Yeah, the stairs there. So they get up there, get into it, then it does this thing. So we'll have the entrance being over here. Exit will be right here. Exit we will make horse be gray, lead to the main road there. And then we will put our queue line. Here, here, crap, messed up. Here, here. This is going to be a very successful ride because this is, this is the G-force area. All the things where you're swinging and moving and moving very fast. This will be a G-Force area. We'll put more rides further on down the line as we go. This way, we won't have much. We'll have coming in l -shape. Come down here, come up this way. Then we'll have a giant roller coaster, hopefully, back there. In fact, let's... I'm going to buy a giant roller coaster. Let's buy a roller coaster. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if we can. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. Load blueprints. Do we have anything else? There's one for the mini coaster. Let's do a suspended coaster. What do we want to do? $9,000 for this one. We have 21000 the Falcon. Because it's going to be like you're flying and diving and swooping like a Falcon. The Enigma. Oh my god. That looks terrifying. And we'll have $2,000 afterwards. Let's do the Oasis. Let's try that one. It's not that big. I thought it would be a lot bigger than that. Well. Let's rotate it. I have to hold it down and push it forward. Like that. Okay. You gotta click the mouse button, hold it down, and then push it one way or the other for it to rotate the uh, whole thing. 
We'll put this right over. No, we want that pathway to go that way. So we'll put this right here. Whoa, tubes? They're going. They're going inside of tubes. That's weird. Well, there's water or stuff in there, spraying them. That's why it's called Oasis. It's a water ride, kind of. Not really. I don't know what it is. All right. Let's have a pathway stretching up to there. I want to come out this way a little bit. This way. And then this way. Extend the second portion of that. There. Also, I need to know what to call this ride. Or park. Should I call it just Funland? That seems kind of boring. Alright, we have a reverse roller coaster. We have $6,000 remaining. Let's put... Well, exit, of course, we'll put over here. And then the entrance way. We'll use the same small tiled thing. This is a roller coaster, so I'm assuming it's going to be busy. Put this up here. This way, up here. And of course, for our queue lines, for roller coasters and more fun rides are always incredibly long at different stages. I hate how they do that. And, boom. I'm going to put a tree right there to divide the two. There's a line. So you go in here, walk this way. I would like to, I wonder if I can uh, clear some area and put trees or meat tractors in the queue line to keep people occupied. Some TVs or something. So they can watch people screaming on the ride or different brands. They can go buy this cola at the store or something. Alright, we're going to attach the road here. Back to this main road here. Get out of all that. Alright. Let's extend this road up a little bit more. Continuing with the three wide. It's up to there. That way it connects the roads in one big thing. So we'll have to walk all the way around just to get to the thing. Next ride. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. And three, three, three. I think that's three. Right. This is a little longer here, but that's why I was trying to extend it. I don't like that. It hurts. Okay. Let's bring this over here to make it connected. Put some stalls or something over here, umbrellas. All right, let's build some main roads here. Let's build some, not main roads, let's build some attractions, uh, stores and things here. Let's build a cash machine. The first thing we want people to do is to spend money. One there. When they come here, ATM's right there. The first thing they're doing is get some money. And right over here we'll build, do they have it? Do they have a information booth, info kiosk, right there. They get the money, come here and get some information, get their park maps or whatever, then they can know where they go. Not like it's that complicated, it's a very small park to begin with. But, we've got to start somewhere. I need to hire some groundskeepers, there's flowers growing everywhere, it's terrible. We'll add some trees here shortly. But first, let's build a bubble tea? What is bubble tea? Is it carbonated tea? Iced tea with carbonation in it? Mini donuts, pretzels, snow cones. I've never seen a restaurant that only has, or a booth like that only has one type of food. I only have different types. Let's build a candy. We want those to be out. We want over here. Candy. We'll put a cotton candy over a couple stores down, or a couple stalls over here. We will build a hot dog vendor right here. And let's build some, and then we'll build one more. We'll build a, not shiny, that's too late game stuff. We want the early snacky food entering in here. Then further in the park, we'll have the actual restaurants with Chinese food and stuff. Ah, popcorn. We have vending machines here. <clears throat> I mean, Prison Architect had vending machines suddenly. Why can't this one? We want some, there we go, vending machines. Let's build a row of vending machines right there. And then finally, we'll add some souvenirs. So on the way out, they can buy a hat or a umbrella. Let's build this right over here, across from the vending machine, one there. And then finally, we'll build an umbrella. Information kiosk, snow cones, toilet. We need to put a toilet somewhere. And in case it starts raining, we'll put a, right across the souvenirs, we'll put an umbrella shop. Then finally, I keep saying finally, but it's not finally. To help those out, we'll add a restroom, bathroom, right over here. After all the stalls, not midway, we need to probably add another bathroom over here somewhere so they're not going everywhere. Okay, I think that's good for the opening. Let's add some decorations. We'll add, we have just trees, plants, we have some flower boxes. 
logs, plants, mushrooms, rocks, topiaries. That's some very basic looking topiaries, just cubes and stuff like that. We have a large water tower prop. Structures, archways. Ooh. $8 for an archway. Can we make it bigger? I mean, that doesn't really suit my needs here. <laughs> um, there we go. Let's do that. Right there. And we'll add one there. That looks terrible. Oh, God. Borders. We have borders here. What do those do? What do those look like? I don't know. Fences, details. Let's have some details. We have awnings, different types of awnings, different types of brick details, chimneys, pillars, pavilions. Ooh. We've got a couple of pavilions over here so they can stop and rest. Supports, walls. So, oh, oh, I see, I see. Brick walls, arches, and poles. We can build our own archway. We will deal with this shortly. Let's build, let's build some basic trees here first, though. I don't want a dead tree. This is supposed to be a fun, fun, happy park. Ooh, let's build a square tree. Let's go build some square trees. I like square trees. Right there. Where, where'd it go? You have to have the menu open? That's ah, irritating. Okay, let's add some planters here. Let's move this out of the way. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Ooh, you can put more than one thing per box. I like that. We'll add some planters along the border here. Oh, I wish they linked together better. That's terrible. Get rid of that one. That bothers me. Let's add... It's a little better, I guess. All right, let's add another one over here. Another row of these things. Yeah, they don't link together at all. Dang it. This hurts. All right, it's close enough. Then we'll do this again. And let's add a, no, poplar. Let's add a poplar. A couple of poplars right here in the middle. We need a fountain of some kind. Do we have fountains? Path attachments. We need to have some benches. You want know metal benches, log benches, bone benches, stone benches. Let's get a basic bench with concrete sides. There. There. When they're coming in, they can eat their hot dog or something and go sit down. Resting. We need to build some umbrellas or shade so they're not dying in the heat. Because it's, what, five degrees out here. That's hot. Path signs, trash bins. We need some trash bins. We'll do the basic bins here as well because we did the basic things. Nothing, nothing better sitting at a park bench next to a trash can. And then we need, what's that? TV. TVs. That's exactly what I need. We'll have some TVs over here so they can watch some TV. Yep. We'll have some TVs here so they can watch themselves some TV while they're waiting in line. Well, in here, so everyone online this way can see it. Same here. Beautiful. Okay. What TV am I using? Those are low quality. Look at that. It's a box TV. This is the highest TV they got. We'll add one of these over to this one. I don't think we're waiting in line for too long at this ride, but just in case. Well, you have something to do while you're waiting. I don't know how long these lines are going to be. I need to figure out how to man these with people. Get supplies from them. I don't know how to do that yet. Let's see. Brush. I can paint things? I love this game already. This game's amazing. No! Oh, crap. What'd I do? Oh, oh thank God. Um. How do I hire people? Do I click on it? Go away, brush. I don't need to brush anything. Popcorn. Sugar. So it costs one dollar for a thing of popcorn. I need to stock it. How do I stock it? Out of stock. I understand it's out of stock. Bulldoze it or follow it. Pin it. Rename it. Rename it to like Poppin Hut. Okay, Poppin Hut. All right. I don't know how to hire staff management. There we go. I have janitors. I need a couple of janitors to keep things clean. We'll hire one. 
We'll hire two janitors. They're wandering around. They just clean up as they see it go. Haulers. I need haulers to, like, mechanics are to fix broken ride. Entertainers are, like, different mascots. Can I hire more than just those two? A park or a shark or a raptor? I'll do a raptor. I'll hire one raptor and I'll hire one shark. They're all both wandering as well, around as well. I'll hire one security. And he's going to be wearing a... Some pure white? No. Blue. I'll have him wearing a... He's one of our boys in blue uniform. Like one of those. Done. Just black and blue. Hire. We'll just, we just need one security. Luis Nichols. Luis Nichols. We'll hire... We don't need a mechanic just yet. We need two halt. We have... How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Several. So we'll hire... Hire hauler Tony Elliott and hire hauler Daniel Powell. Okay. And these are these are waiting for workers to deliver candy, cotton candy, hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs, lots of hot dogs. Okay. Let's unpause it or start the game and see what happens. Whoa. Roads have been placed. The roads have been placed. We are open. Welcome to Funtopia. Hmm. Our first guests are arriving. We still have no food whatsoever. Where are our haulers? Seriously, where are the haulers? Didn't I hire you people? Or is that you guys? Where are you? Edith Williams. Welcome to the park. You spent one dollar on my park so far. That was just to get in. You are already liking it. Nope, you're not liking it at all. It's going down. I'm sorry. Sorry, none of the stalls have food in them. We probably should have hired them and had them going for a while before you showed up. Here's a hauler. There's two haulers. There they go. They're bringing in stuff. What are they bringing in? You are delivering souvenirs. Now you're going to go and grab some meat for the hot dogs. Excellent. So now we can buy stuff. What did you buy? Did you buy something? You spent $5 in the park. Yay. You bought a ball cap. You have $61 remaining. Wow, you can see how much money they have? Are you leaving already? Don't leave. No. Okay, you're not leaving. I need you here. Oh, I have a delivery drop-off zone here. This is where they deliver my stuff. I need haulers to bring it all in. Okay, I like that. I didn't know that. Can I designate a larger area or build a shop here? They call them pallets too. I love that. It's amazing. All right, we have our umbrella stand and our souvenir stand has stuff. We're still waiting for all our food places to have things. Oh, I forgot to start the rides. Let's open the ride. We're closed right now. I'm not even going to bother testing, and we're going to assume they're working. God forbid someone gets on and it shatters and kills them all. And Oasis, my prize coaster. Oh, oh my. Can I Can I jump inside and watch it? Can I want? I want to get. I want to ride it. What's that? Ooh. Vertical G forces. I can actually determine how what the G forces is based on certain locations. This is truly amazing. All the science stuff I had on how to read. All right. Can I step in and watch? You need to close this ride to change these settings. Cars for turning. We don't need to close it right now. Okay. I would like to ride it. Can, can I get on in? Entrance way. Save the blueprint. Edit it. Follow it. I've already followed it, but I want to ride it. I know there's only 50% satisfaction rating for this ride. Yay. That ride's going. God, that's loud. Don't think you can hear that. That looks insane. I would never ride that. Oh god, you're going in circles. That would be fun. I love a good swinging ship. Alright, we have $2,000. It's slowly going up. Let's see if we can build one more ride. And we'll call that a day for this episode anyway. What do you want to build? What should we build? We have a bunch of these big ones. Let's build some kiddie rides over here. We'll build a little pathway this way. Coming off, just like that one. And we built some kitty rides along this area. This will be the kitty zone. 
Hello? What was that? Someone said, ba da da ba doop boop boop It was weird. Alright, we'll have the pathway coming this way a little bit. I need to hire some gardeners. Just a little bit, just a little bit. We do want to reattach it though, don't we? Can't spend all my money on pathways. Okay, let's see. Kitty rides. So we want the small little teacups over here. We'll put a teacup ride right there. Beautiful. Entrance way right there, exit way leading directly out into it. Oh. Yeah, oh crap. That looks absolutely terrible. See, the other ones are gray bottom leading out. This one, I put it too close to that way, so it changed the entire underside to that. Are you laughing at my park? I don't know if you can hear this or not. There's people talking every now and then if I get too close to them. And they're scoffing and making bad noises. I guess they don't like my park the way it is. I'm sorry, I can't make it better for you. Here's a teacup ride for the kitties. Let's see if we can... Are there any more kid parks or kid rides? I knew a merry-go-round. Merry-go-round. The wave swinger. Let's do the spiral slide. We'll do the spiral slide right here. I've never been ridden the spiral slide before. We'll put that right there. And this way is right here. Exit will be right here. You will turn it on. Build a dark pathway leading right here from it. And we will build a queue. Like that. All right, and we have two kid, two kid rides, a couple thrill rides over here, high velocity, and a roller coaster. We have store set up. Really? They have Sims language. They're speaking in tongues. It's weird. There's one of our mascots, Sharky McShark Shark. It's not a great name, but it's still a name. Sharky McShark Shark. Can we name you? Entertainer, Timothy Carpenter. He has no real work done, he's just wandering. I haven't designated work done. Can I? I can pick him up. I remember in Roller Coaster Tycoon, when you pick someone up, they would act like you picked them up by their cuff of their shirt or something. They'd be wiggling and moving around, trying to escape. Or maybe that's Sims I'm thinking of. Some game like this. Alright, come back here, Pirate Hat. <gasps> he bought a shark hat. Or is that a helmet? What is that? What'd you buy? You have a medieval cap on, a backpack on. Did you buy those here? No outside backpacks in my park. What's shown on the TV? Really? We have par on the TV. There are other rides. They're showing new attached new rides. Come on, get close. Yeah, literally, they're just showing other rides. That's that's marvelous. I love that. I want to show something programming, maybe some paid programming for our vendors, you know. Try this Happy Cola. Alright. What do we call this place? Funtopia? We call this Funtopia. Alright. Most of our restaurants are done. Or stalls, anyway. We were still waiting on cotton candy and hot dogs to be delivered. But our park's getting busy and we are... Not doing too terrible. So next time we'll try to expand park a little more, get some more money. We only have eight hundred dollars. May have to take a loan out or something. Oh, take a loan out so we can build a couple more roller coasters, build a bigger park. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on what I can do better. We have all this space to expand. So I think I'm gonna leave this episode here for now. Thanks for watching, and I do hope to see you all next time. Bye.